Hi. I'm running this deer down on foot. Hi. Hello. Hello. Attack. This is kind of cool. I mean, hello. Do you mind paying a little attention? Excuse me. I am talking to you. Come back here. You sound like a horse. There he goes. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel and for today's video slash stream we are back in Hunting Simulator 2. Now, per popular request, we're going on a mule deer and whitetail hunt today. And per my request, we're going to do it in Texas because that's where I want to go. Now, before getting into that, I made a comment in the last stream that you notice here, scent killer, nothing. But if I don't select anything, it still shows it down to my heart, heart bar, hot bar. And when I actually go out there, it's, it's there. So somehow I've managed to break the scent killer to where I now have unlimited scent killer, which is good because that stuff's expensive. Either that or that's how it's supposed to work, but if that's how it's supposed to work, I wouldn't imagine that it wouldn't show up in the options menu there, but I could be wrong. So as you saw, I'm going with the evening slot because we're going to go to the Bandera region and I have not hunted the Bandera region in the evening slot. So this will be new for me. There are whitetail and mule deer here. I'm not bringing a doggo this time just because, um, well, I'm just not bringing one. I want to see where I run into problems where the doggo would benefit. So Al being the retriever and Wilson being the bloodhound, I, my money's actually on. I'm not going to notice that much of a difference because I don't usually use them for tracking anyways. Now, I do have with me deer collar, whitetail urine, elk, and predator. I could have probably, you know what I might do? Actually, hang on. I'm going to run back and I'm actually going to switch out the elk collar to have mule deer. I will point out this though that is a hell of a view I like how there's just a random shovel here it's either like a manure shovel or a half buried snow shovel that's weird oh uh actually that that's that's about right so last time i was over here it was actually at the base of this uh scent killer the base of this cliff over here because you can kind of see there's a tent right there see there's something right down over here uh, uh. The problem is, how do I get in... I, I didn't want to... I shouldn't have done the call. I don't think it can get up here from over here, but I have been wrong before. It, it'll spook before anything, right? There's two. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a rifle. I think the problem I'm running into is they're below me. I will have to scoot to my right. It actually sounds like there's two down here. They're underneath this lip. I'm gonna have to try and draw them over to here because you can see the ground is or the slope is a little shallower. So if they come around the corner here, I'll actually be able to see them. My concern is that instead of going around, they'll try and come up. Yeah, see, that doesn't sound like they're coming around. Sounds like they're not moving at all, actually. It actually also sounds like the one that was closest has already spooked. Also sounds like I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Bingo. A pair of female, or pair of doe whitetail. Are those, ser is that it? Those two are the ones that have been making all the noise and they're stuck. So they were trying to get up to me, but they couldn't figure it out. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hang on a second. Those are both mule deer? Hang on. Uh, I gotta remember buttons here. So I got two does below me. I got two bucks moving in right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how's your day going? Now I want to bring up binos. Ooh, those are both nice mule deer. That doesn't even look like a mule deer. That almost looks more whitetailish to me. That looks mule de muley to me. So, I want them closer. I've had some bad experience uh, trying to shoot that. <laughs> I don't know why, in this game it seems to be so much more difficult to get a long range shot in, but I would like to be able to get both these bucks. 
So what I want to do is I want to draw them in close enough that after they spook from the first one being shot, that I can, um, well, hopefully have time to get on and get a second shot. This is a noisy spot right now. Because, of course, they respawn immediately after the calls. But those two are not interested at all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is a time to try mule deer. Okay. Um, what just happened? That just froze him? Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened there, but the scent lure appeared to just completely freeze them in place. Oh, wait, what's that right there? A rabbit. Of course, when I don't bring something I can use to deal with a rabbit, that's when I'll find rabbits. All right, let's see what we nabbed over here. Um, I'm gonna say he's probably just an adult. Oh, not Call of the Wild, right? And he is a mature. And that was 141 yard lung and heart shot. That's not good, that means the other one's mature. These are both matures. How about you? I like this shot. I wish there was a way to put everything away. And this one is an adult. I don't think that mature is going to be bigger. So that was from the rear. I'm guessing I landed two shots because I don't see how else I could have. I had to have landed two shots. So what would that be? Uh, stomach and lung, 162 yards. And I have one mule deer license left. So now I want to try and climb back up there. And I guess I need to start figuring out white tail. Okay, so see, way out yonder, what is that? Right inside the circle right now at 1,800 yards, there's something. I couldn't begin to tell you what that is. Coyote? I'm gonna go with coyote on that. There's a sheep to my left somewhere. Uh, there's a doe from earlier. Okay, so there's a pair of coyotes. I did hear a bighorn in front of me. Oh, right down here. Hey, you know what? That ain't a bad bighorn. 158 yards. I'll just wait till this guy clears his bush here and... I think there's a second one to the left. I hear it, but I can't see it. Okay, that leaves me four rounds to get a white tail. That's two mule deer bucks and a bighorn. And there's a doe, there's a doe, and then somewhere out there I saw a coyote. So same drill as before. Oh, hey, it said I heard another one to the left. There it is. So really, I'm just getting this guy to complete a tag. I'm hoping he's not another mature. Okay, good. He's a youngin. Only because I've been getting matures out the wazoo with Bighorn. Something right there. My guess would be pronghorn. Yeah, that's a pronghorn. Okay, looking for... What do we got there? There's another pronghorn. We got a pair of elk. Too far away to really tell what they are. Could be a pair of cows. Um, I actually need to work my way. I'm gonna head over to this little, there's like this little rise right here, just cause that's gonna give me better visibility in that direction. The direction I'm pointing that you can't see. I don't know why I do that. Got something right there. Cougar. Oh, about everything but a bison and whitetail is what I've seen so far. Because we've seen coyote, seen pronghorn, shot mule deer, shot bighorn. Another bighorn right down here. Yeah, I've definitely busted the scent killer. Oh my god, there's... It's right here. I have no more tags for Bighorn, though. Because that's that's a full wrap. That might be a mature. Question is, where or oh, where are the whitetail? All right, let's see. We got something eating up there on the hill. Wait, what are those? That is over 2,000 yards away. Those aren't sheep, are they? Where's that one that was down here? I need a reference spot. You. You don't have a white belly. Hang on a second. You back, where were they? I think they were over this clearage. No, they were further right. Crap, where did I see? They're down there, right. Are those white tail? Post me is gonna be able to like edit this and zoom in and see that those are not white tailed. The fact that they're traveling separately like that has me very curious. Okay, so that's like 2,000 yards. Where am I spotting these guys? Oh, wait, hang on a second. If this is, that's them. Where's the tent that's over here? There's a tent over here? Trying to get a reference point here, guys. 
It's down here. Oh, I'm so lost. Okay, wait, there's a stand. That's that way. Okay, so they're back here. All right, so let me travel to this tent. I'm trying to find a high spot on this plateau that I can actually peer across. That is a cow elk, okay. Oh, please don't tell me these things back here are elk. They look like white tail. Okay. They look like deer. I'm not gonna say they look like white tail because at that range, even when fire is still running 4K, it would be near impossible to tell what it is. Okay, so I was here and I looked back this way. So it should be over here. Were those elk? They did not look like elk. No, wait, right there. White tail. Bingo, bango. Now what's interesting is you notice how I was able to spot that even though the animal wasn't actually rendered in. Now he's just kind of roaming around feeding. I could try and sneak in on him. That's a lot of ground to cover. That's, he's actually just wandering around and feeding and smell, smelling. Is that what's happening right there? I could try and close the ground. What I would love to do is to be able to end up top side of him. So I'm guessing over there is going to be my best bet. Now there were two. I don't know where the second one went and I don't think there's anything. Yeah, because he's back here in this corner. I don't believe there's a stand around or at least not one that I see. He's 800 yards. I do have the 338. I could just go ahead and nab that elk. Alright. Uh oh. Ammo. Okay. So now I have two shots left. We're gonna save that for the white tail. Yeah, I'm gonna say I nailed him pretty good. Yep, just an adult, so he'll be for money. I should be getting close. I should be able to peer over the edge here and see him. Now, Roosevelt Forest, I know a couple of good spots for Whitetail, but honestly, this is just a lot. Uh, it's easier, but more cha oh, challenging. He's down there. Son of a biscuit. Uh, no, I don't want to call him yet. Not until I have eyes on and know where he's at. All right, uh, I'm going to call even though I don't see him just because... I spooked him, but I thought he was back here. Oh no, he was over here somewhere. Oh wait, maybe I didn't. Uh, he's somewhere down in these trees. Oh no, he's right here. Bingo, bango. Out of ammunition to the 338, but I got him. And I think that's him on the ground right there. Wait, I really have a hard time telling the difference between the mule deer and the whitetail in this game, especially at certain angles, but I'm pretty sure that is an adult whitetail. So I already have a mature, so that'll be for money. There it is. I mean, that's mule deer and whitetail in 48 minutes, but I'm not done. I need more ammo. So it's time to head back to the cabin, which is over here. There's more animals. I'm not even... Oh, that was a cougar. I if animals attacked in this game, it would be it would be scary. Okay, let's see. So I think I'm gonna start with this plateau to my right because I've never actually gone that way. So that would be over this way, and just go see what there is. There there is words. I greatly confuse myself with them on a regular basis. Hi. Mm-hmm. But he look a rabbit. And again, me without my shotgun. Not that I'm going to be able to shoot that thing at 200 yards. I'm running this deer down on foot. This is how you use a compound bow right here, because you can actually... Look at this. Hang on a second. Look at this. Hi. Hello. Hello. Attack. This is kind of cool. I mean... Hello. Do you mind paying a little attention? Excuse me. I am talking to you. Come back here. You sound like a horse. So they don't attack. I don't even get like, like, I, I mean, there's no health, so it makes sense, but excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, that there has to be something to fix this. You, you should be able to run faster. I would think, I mean, all right, I'm going to leave you be, you go do your thing. It's just weird you can do that. And honestly, I would say if you're trying to find a specific animal and you're not, you know, you're not going for money or something, just, uh, just run him down. Because you can do stuff like that, where you can literally just chase the animal down and then line up line up a running shot. Oh, now look at that bugger. Oh, look at this bugger.
That's a... That's a cougar. <laughs> okay. I need to get down, get this cougar, and then I want to get back up and try and get that... Uh, not that guy. He's eating. Uh, I don't know where the other guy went. Uh-oh. Oh. To my left. That's a cougar. An adult male. That was uh, lung heart. Just shredded it. I oh, mean, I have to love that rifle. Now I want to get back up, get that elk. Okay, so I have lost sight of the guy I saw eating back here. That's the monster one. Look at that thing. There's the one eating. Yeah. Wait, is that... Is this him? And then that's the smaller of the two I saw earlier. Oh no, that's a bison. Oh. Oh, but I want... I hate decisions. The bison is definitely more money. I already have a mature elk, but that guy's guaranteed to be big. You know what? I have an idea. That's my idea. Because it didn't spook this guy. Now he looks like he's gonna come right across here. If this is the bison I think it is, he crosses right in front of the cabin. Now I don't think I have an adult bison, or a mature bison, I have an adult bison. So it really just kind of boils down to the question of, yeah, cause I think that is the smaller of the two L. Yeah, that was the smaller one. Okay, so I got the bigger one down on the ground. This guy's gonna wander right in. This might be perfect. I'm excited for this. And if he doesn't spook that elk, I might grab that elk still. Oh, the back legs. Please, guys, fix your back legs. That's that's not how bison legs work. Think horse. Think cow. Think most quadrupeds, really. That was kind of scary. Okay, that's two shots into him. I'm pretty sure that's two shots into him. It's just watching him run sometimes. It's like, that's not how, that's not how it works. What? I, I gotta remember to headshot these guys. Now, what happened there? Is that, that's gotta be the edge of the map then. See, I always forget you can do headshots in this game and then I go for the, uh, I go for like a normal vital hit. I try and shoot him in the lungs. Oh. Wait, what? Did he just die? Oh, he just died. Okay, never mind. Seriously, I looked over, I was like, wait, bison sleep in this game? No, I mean, he, I mean, he does. He's asleep permanently. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he was, he was, he was hurt. Oh, yeah, that, uh, sucks to be you. It's, it's amazing how long animals can take to bleed out in this game. And you are, uh, I got me a mature bison. I got me a mature bison. I am very excited for that. That is the bison I've wanted. And I had a feeling because when I looked at the horns, I had a feeling, but I have me a mature bison. I am very happy about that. Oh my lord. Okay, so there's the other elk, which means that that elk that's still up and about is over here. Hmm. Wait. Okay, that's the downed one. Where'd the other one go? Did he disappear? Wait, right there. What's he doing? He's not a biggin. So we're just gonna do a long range one here. And I need a reload. He's hurting, and I lost him in the trees. Oh, that's not, that's not good at all. He must have laid down. Oh, he's, he's down. I got a second thing. Okay. All right. And just as I thought, he is a monster. And that was one of the shots. Did I only hit him once? I think I only shot him once. So that was heart. How could, uh, no. I must have shot this guy twice because there's no, I didn't shoot him from the front. I don't think. Anyways, that was 240 yards. And I'll need to compare him to what I already have in the lodge. And the next one's dead ahead. Oh, he died right on the back side of the hill here. And you're an adult. And that was 234 yards and I did nail lung. All right, cool. Oh, what? Oh, right there. A couple mule deer, uh... Boys. Antlers. No. Bucks. What the hell happened right there? That was a brain short if I'd ever had one. I lost them. How did I lose them? They were right in front of me? Oh, there they are. Okay, I need to get a range here. 115 yards already. The one on the left looks taller, the one on the right looks wider. How many can I take? I can only take one of them. Do I go for height or width? Because see, like, this one on the right looks more like a freaking whitetail. That, tell me that does not look like a whitetail. 
Where is this one over here? That looks like a mule deer. You're definitely the bigger of the two. Okay, I'm gonna run out of room here. I'm gonna take my shot now. That's him. And I gotta let the other one go. So maybe this would have been a better place to start. All right, so I think that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and find me one more whitetail and see how hard it is to set out. That was an adult. So I'm gonna be very curious if I get full points on this. I'm pretty sure I can... Well, yeah, because it would tell me if I couldn't use the 338. Oh, hey, look. Okay, so there's the bison, which means, oh, there's the tent. So that's the hill I was just on. And I'm not even joking. Right there. Hang on. Is that a freaking... There he is. Okay. I gotta try and figure out where that is. There's something else walking right back there. Okay, wait. So that's the tent. That's the river. He's here? So I have a white tail there. So you know what? Let's just jump to that tent. Hope that that was just a bug I saw flying across the screen. And then he would have been back this way. Right there. I see him. Okay. And he's not big. He is not big at all. That is a meat buck if I ever saw one. All right. Um, He's traveling through this brush. I'm going to try and get over here a bit. Because it chokes down a little bit over here. And I may be able to kind of bottleneck him in by the water. Be able to set my furthest range. That's 560 yards. If I could get that down to 250, I'd be happy. Visibility is definitely going to fight me on this one a little bit. Okay, there he is. Oh, he's actually walking kind of towards me. He's kind of walking across. I might be able to make it right up to here and just call him in towards me. Have some desert bighorn wander through here. That's what I saw further back. Okay, I lost sight. There's a coyote somewhere to the left. Oh yeah, because there's Coyote Prince right there. He's not spooked far, the coyote. Oh, there's the deer. Let's lay down right here for a second. I got his attention, he stopped, he turned. Oh, he's coming. I think there's an, another one over the hill to my left. Mm-hmm. He's not big. He will do. Come on, step through the bush. Looks like he stopped. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Now, I'm, I'm always putting two shots into animals. You don't have to. You can put one shot and wait. And I would imagine in reality, to limit the amount of meat and stuff you destroy, that you wouldn't want to keep doing that. This is a video game, and I don't like having to chase down things I've already shot once. So just on the off chance that I do screw up my shot, like that one, I actually think he... Yeah, he was about to go down after the first one. That's not a bad looking deer. It's not so much the deer that isn't bad looking as much as it is... Uh, I wish there was a way to do trophy shots. And that's a youngin, but that is license complete. So now I want to head back to the cabin and start doing my animal checks. Where is the cabin? There you are. All right, so I have a bunch of licenses I need to refill now before I can go out hunting again. But I do think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, set out for whitetail and mule deer. Got, what, three and three? I think that's pretty good. Got a big bison, got a cougar, got some bighorn, got some elk. That's a pretty full hunting day, and that, I would say, is honestly the biggest difference, at least with the way I play, between Call of the Wild and Hunting Sim 2. If you do spot and stock hunting, it is so much faster to get. I mean, that was, we're coming up on two hours. Two hours for all that. Whereas the last hunt, or in, even if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, the last video, that was almost four hours on Hirschfeld. Now, granted, I play that game with, you know, as I do with this one, with everything turned off, all the visual aids and everything. Hey, look, a cougar. Hey, look, another elk. I just, just like, not to mention there's a bobcat down me gr down here growling at me. Oh, look, uh, another elk. Oh, look, a, wait, 
a mule deer. I just walked outside the cabin and there's all those wonderful animals to hunt right up. Wait, what's right there? Is that a rock? A rock! I mean, you can hunt anything. What's this? Hey, look, a sheep. I mean, another sheep. Okay, wait a minute. Something's up here. Where were all these animals a second ago? <laughs> I mean, it's so bizarre because sometimes it's like the animal population's working against you and then sometimes it's a splattering. Splattering? Smattering? Smorgasport? 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 A lot of animals in a very small area, so. But that being said, I think that's gonna do it for this one. So, if you have any interest in helping support the channel, whether that be Twitch or YouTube, there are links down in whatever corresponding boxes below the video you're watching. Whether it's on Twitch and it's the uh, channel thing, or it's YouTube and it's the description thing. One of these days I'll figure out how to describe all that. But that being said, that does it for this one. So there are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push, until next time. Sorry, I. what did I just hear? Because it was sheep we saw this way, right? And I think I just heard a pronghorn or a whitetail over here. Probably a mule deer. All three make the same sounds, which is kind of the problem. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Bye.